Welcome to Mass C Tech. It goes without saying that bad roads, unforgiving weather conditions, and harsh terrain are first of all associated with one country on this planet, Russia. What else is typical for this place? Some mean and extreme trucks that can actually allow people to get around and reach any corner of the vast territory. These vehicles can drive with or without roads, on snow, dirt and sand, through water and on water. Are you interested to witness these monsters and find out some information about them? Then stick with us a little longer. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell. Let's roll! Tinger Tinger track vehicle is truly multifunctional and is intended to become a substitute for a swamp buggy, a tractor, a snowmobile, a quad bike and a boat. It can develop a speed of 22 miles per hour and seat 5 people for land transportation and 4 for water travel. Tinger track has a fuel-efficient 4-stroke engine, steel-reinforced tracks and light HDPE body. It can easily overcome 1.65 feet obstacles, 3.3 feet wide pits and 40 gradient hills. Shatun Pro Another civilian used crazy ATV named Shatun was recently released by a Russian company Navi Patak, translated as the new stream. With a Japanese made Kubota V1505 T turbo diesel engine, this intimidating off roader is capable of conquering all kinds of terrain, including snow, sand, mud, bushwood, water bodies, 35% gradient hills, and 3.3 feet high obstacles, such as fallen trees. Such maneuverability is made possible by a two-part moving frame and huge low-pressure Macar tires. The price for this ATV is moderate and starts from $48,000 for a gasoline engine and $55,000 for a diesel. Avtoros Shaman Shaman, created by Russian truck manufacturer Avtoros, is another off-road vehicle suitable for use in any weather conditions. It can comfortably seat 8 passengers and a driver and can be transformed into a 4 sleeping places cabin. Shaman climbs 45% gradient hills and obstacles and has a unique sideway moving mode. A 4-cylinder Evaco F1C 3-liter turbo diesel helps Shaman attain a 44 mph maximum speed. The vehicle is available for customization as the manufacturer offers its customers to build their own shaman. Burlak. It is a six-wheel amphibious truck with 170 horsepower Toyota 1KD FTV turbo diesel engine. 
top speed reaches 55 mph on solid grounds and 3.7 mph on water. This ATV was first developed for a Transantarctic automobile expedition in 2014, and the second prototype was created in 2017. Burlak was fully built by a fantastic auto mechanic, engineer and automotive enthusiast Alex Makarov. Make sure to visit his channel to see unbelievable places he has visited with this truck. Sherp First developed in 2015, Sherp ATV has become an established competitor among other off-road vehicles produced worldwide. It can overcome 3.3 feet high obstacles as it is equipped with huge wheels and low-pressure tires. The vehicle is powered by a four-cylinder 1.5-liter diesel Kubota V1505 T44 engine that has 44 horsepower and allows Sherp to develop a top speed of 28 miles per hour on land. The vehicle is also amphibious and goes 3.75 miles per hour on water. Taurus Taurus is a Russian-designed and made, small-sized all-terrain motorcycle that does not sink in water and can even climb stairs. Interestingly, the motorcycle has a two-wheel drive and is dismountable. It could be fit into a truck of a regular passenger car. Taurus is great for off-road driving in the woodlands. It is, however, not suitable for road use and is sold exclusively in Russia. The price is around $1,700. Vitas Truck Vitas DT30 is an all-terrain track vehicle first produced in 1982. The truck can be used on sand, snow and water. It is mostly used for freight and cargo transportation for military purposes. The Vitas can carry a crew of 5 and a maximum load of 66,000 pounds. Under the hood, the Vitas has a 710 horsepower V46 5 diesel engine that has a preheater and can be started at the temperature of 58 degrees Fahrenheit.
If you're watching this video from the Russian Federation, we have a message for you guys. We all love your amazing trucks, but how about building good roads when you won't need them any longer? Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time, so make sure to subscribe.